Hey everyone, welcome back to Healing Crystal. Today I'm going to bring to you the energy forecast for the day, which will consist of the astrology, the tip on the sky, how it will affect you today. I'm going to help you go with the energy instead of reacting to the energy so that we can have a more positive life experience. That I'm also going to be pulling some oracle cards and some universal advice cards. We're going to have our daily candle and crystal of the day. So today is Thursday, June 20th, 2019. Candle for the day is white. We're going to go ahead and light our candle. The mantra for the day is I am open to new beginnings. Allow today to bring in a breath of fresh air to your life, like a, a new beginning or a rebirth. What is it around you in your life that needs a revamping? Try to find a way to bring newness into your life today. This doesn't have to be serious. It can be cleaning, rearranging your furniture, switching up your self-care routine at night, even for just one day would work. That's kind of what Aquarius energy is about, and we kind of switch our day-to-day -day lives, more so with the moon, because that's what transits around the signs the fastest. Our crystal today, we have Rainbow Moonstone. The Rainbow Moonstone stands for balancing your energies. You need to bring more of your feminine energy into your masculine energy, because everyone doesn't matter what your gender is, it's gonna have the masculine and the feminine energy inside of them. And we all have to find a way to integrate them both equally into our lives. The masculine energy is gonna be more about taking action and the feminine one is going to be about more creative. You can't go from just being creative to action to creative to action. You need to find a way to be creative and take action, balance out all parts of your day so that Everything in your life can just go into place exactly how it needs to be. Don't let your masculine energy overpower your feminine energy. The moon today is in Aquarius and you might find yourself experiencing weird um, thoughts and unusual events taking place in your life that pop up out of nowhere. You'll feel like making a difference in something in the world, that something beyond yourself and more worldly. This is definitely a day to start feeling like something uh, more of a part of the greater good and less on just your own little world, you know, your own little personal movie. You bring it into the world and you start experiencing everyone else's movies instead of just your own. It will not be an emotionally charged day per se compared to what it could be on other days. But it will be full of intellectual intuition. So make sure you have a little notebook handy and jot down those intuitive thoughts that you get throughout the day. If they come out of nowhere, don't second guess them. Go with them because that's part of the magical energy of the transit Aquarius moon. To find out the particular area of your life that this moon transit might be experiencing you personally the most, Look up your rising sign and see which house is around Aquarius and that will be the area of your life that is most effective. If you don't know how to look up your natal chart, I will link my video down below on how to do that. And then go to the Aquarius sign and look up your house. Aquarius is a fixed moon, so take a moment to think about your current endeavors especially your innovative ones that might be out of the box and unique. How are they doing? Are they a little stuck? Are you a little stuck? Because it could be stuck in either direction. It could be stuck in the support. You could not be getting as much support and in that regard you need to keep going with your vision. Or you could be stuck creatively and there could be a different avenue you could go that could be more beneficial, but you're a little fixed and stubborn, so you choose not to. That will be up to you to decide based on your life, but you really need to get a little bit of a realistic viewpoint on the situation and then make your decisions from there. 
some of the planetary aspects to take into consideration for the day. Saturn is in Capricorn and still in retrograde until September 18th. We will continue to revisit our boundaries and our responsibilities. And now is the time when we are really experiencing outdated lessons and coming to a new reality and seeing what is actually going on within our lives. Pluto retrograde is until October 3rd. This isn't really that much of a big deal because Pluto is in retrograde for six months every year. So every year of our lives, we are experiencing Pluto in retrograde for six months. So half of our lives, we are experiencing Pluto retrograde. We are all very familiar with this energy. I find that personal planets being transited by Pluto transform someone's life more so than just transit Pluto. With that being said, there are some aspects going on right now which do make this transit Pluto a little bit different. We have retrograde Pluto conjunct retrograde Saturn. We might experience some past issues of abuse, sexual abuse, lies being manipulated, just events that you will remember that will transform your life now that happened a very long time ago. Those can be very hard things to deal with, but it's important to keep in mind that you've already experienced them. You're just remembering them now. You just need to go back in time and nurture yourself. And especially if you are a young child, you need to go back and tell your young self that everything's okay. If you don't want to relive it as an adult, think of how you felt when it was happening and then care for yourself like that person needs to be cared for. We also have these two malefic planets in conjunction, opposite Mars and Mercury in Cancer. This could also bring up more issues of mental abuse, physical abuse. Mercury and Mars are in the sign of Cancer, which is ruled by the Moon, which represents our mother. Unfortunately, you might want to see if some of these issues are caused by your mother or something that happened to your mother that is affecting your life because of what happened to her. Be really careful when working through these past issues as sometimes we dig up things that just needed to be left into the ground. So don't focus too much on the past. Even if it was traumatic, you still need to look forward to the future and keep moving. On top of maybe not feeling very good about our past, this energy is not making us feel very good about our present. We're feeling very sluggish, a little lazy, unmotivated. Inside we probably feel like we're failing. And on the outside we have a little bit of proof that also says, hey, you're failing. But that's why we pay attention to the energy going on in the world so that we can remind ourselves that this is just an energy, a phase that everyone is going through and we need to find a way to be mentally stronger than it and not let it get the best of our lives. All right, we're going to get a universal card, two of them. The universe has my back, so always keep that in mind as well. During this little bit of a trying, mentally tough time, the universe has your back everything you're experiencing, you're meant to experience today. Just honestly, sometimes it just gets so rough that that's what you have to do. Sometimes you find yourself alone and you question what you're living for. And then you gotta remember, the universe has your back. That'll let you know, you know, thousands of reasons why you're here. And it'll make you feel better. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. This goes exactly with the current energies we have here of digging up things from the past. When you're triggered, don't fight that feeling down again. It's popping back up so many years later because you need to deal with it, not bury it back down. Face it one last time, nurture yourself, let it go, and don't let it control your life anymore. Take back your power, but not too much. Don't come in full-blown power, balanced power. Live your life that way. Be grateful for your past, even if it was hard, because ultimately that has made you who you are today. All right, well, that's it for the message. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.
Namaste.